Hey everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. Just a real quick intro um, on this video. Uh, this video is all about um, our time in the car uh, with my wife driving at the BMW M Track Day. Uh, we got to drive the M4 and the M3 back to back and I wanted to give you guys a video of just the notes that we were getting while we were driving around the track. Now, it's not one-on-one -on -one instruction, but it, it's, uh, two, there's two benefits to this. One is, like you can see, like if you were riding with an instructor, if you haven't done it, what kind of uh, instruction that you would get, uh, like on a track day, um, or at like a professional school or something like that. All these guys that were at the M track day were professional instructors, and... Uh, super super amazing to to hear the notes and how they break down the laps as you go and we we started out slower and progressively got faster um, and the format was a lead follow and then each car would peel off and uh, go to the back of the line so that one could be directly behind the instructor for a lap so um, I hope that you guys enjoy uh, as like you probably won't enjoy it as much as I did doing it but uh, if you're, the other advantage is if you're going out to the ridge and going to drive out there, man, what a hugely awesome breakdown. Um, it's kind of like being able to, uh, you know, section by section, uh, listen to all the track notes and get pointers on how to drive the track faster. Uh, tells you where the apexes are, how to accelerate out of the corners, where to accelerate, where to brake. Um, so if you like racing cars and you like, like, instruction and this is the video for you um, this will definitely uh, give you an insight as to the value of having uh, a talented instructor um, guiding you around the course in a car you're not familiar with or your own car so with that let's get to the video um, enjoy thanks for thanks to BMW for putting on an awesome M track day Hope you guys can get out there and try one on your own because it's totally worth the money. We're going to break earlier than the three goes. And we're going to break pretty heavy. So we're going to break out about a three out of ten for about 30% breaks right here. And then a nice smooth release. By the time you get to the turn-in zone, you need to be back on a little bit of throttle to be able to turn the car into that apex. And then break straight at the turn-in zone. Your steering wheel is not exactly straight, but it's not a giant brake zone, so you can definitely get it done. Stay somewhat left and then bending the car back to the right to get to the apex. Track out to the middle of the racetrack, count 1-1000 one, and turn in to the left. Looking all the way up here to the second of the apexes in this big radius corner. Again, letting the track, the car come out, bending the car around that curving, getting it set up so that we are parallel with the sides of the racetrack and somewhat in the middle. Smooth brake release. Putting a right tire on that uh, seam in the pavement, then start looking to the left to find that apex. Bend the car down to the apex, gradually bringing it closer and closer to the inside, eventually getting down to the inside. A little lift off of the gas and then turn to the right and then back on the gas set yourself and line yourself up with that tree. You're not exactly lined up with the tree, but it's a good visual. Smooth brake release to the middle of the racetrack. Maintenance throttle to the apex on the right. Start unwinding the hands and squeezing the throttle. Turn in earlier than this cone implicates. Uh, it's just a little too late. And we're going to head up the hill. Very important. This cone on the left is where you start to bend the car down to the right, and again, we want to get to that curving. We want to truly get to that apex. Down towards the next apex, and I'm going to break. This is about a two and a half pedal. Eyes looking to the left. Anytime you need to uh, break that heavy for that corner, uh, that's uh, so tight, you want to break, look, and turn. So BLTB, break, now look to the steering wheel. Don't try and do them all at once. Smack all the way out. And I'd like you to just pretty much stay on that brake pedal because it goes downhill, down all the way to that apex. And then as you make your way to the apex, you can release the same left. Bringing the car back to the right on 5% throttle. 
We're going to stay three quarters of the way out until we get to the cone on the right, but I want you to start looking at the cone on the left much earlier than, than that. Getting to the eight max and 60. We'll do our first changeover. First car is going to stay to the left. Second, third, and fourth car. Come on up right behind me. Come on up, come on up. And that fourth car is going to slot right into the back. We'll get right back on the gas pedal.
waiting for us on the way out. I as well. You have to go down to the apex. Please not fall.
three this time and uh, we're heading out on the track for another set of laps and uh, it's gonna be fun Smirching the rally for us. <laughs>
this gives you an opportunity to uh, spend some quality time. Okay, it looks like they're gonna wave us past, so go ahead and follow me. Go ahead. Okay, I'm threes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed listening to professional instructors guide amateur drivers around a racetrack in cars that probably none of us had ever driven before. So, um, again, if you haven't done an M Track Day, uh, sign up on their website, try to find one near you. I think they're done for 2017, but uh, the amount of fun that everybody's had doing these through 2017. Uh, I can only imagine that 2018 is going to be a lot harder to get a seat in uh, on a track day uh, with this organization. And you can bet that uh, me and the wife are going to be out there doing it again next year because it was just that much fun. Uh, so if you're going to the Ridge, hopefully this helped you uh, prep up uh, for your track day at the Ridge. Um, either way, I hope you guys have a great time out there doing what you're doing. And next, until next time get out there and work on something. <laughs>